Hey everyone, it's Jacob from AndroidSocialMedia.com. Uh, I want to show you a new app uh, that I discovered today. Uh, something I've been investigating recently and uh, something I'm really excited about. I've been working with the developer or at least uh, communicating with them and they're super, super friendly and really good developers. Um, the app is called Phone My PC and uh, if you uh, search in Android Market you'll find it's there. It's uh, one of several um, uh, apps that are available for for a remote desktop connection. Um, right now they're having a special deal on it while it's in beta mode. Uh, you can pick it up pretty cheap. Um, but let me just find it here. There we go. Phone my PC. Now how this software works? Uh, phone my PC is first you have to uh, install the software onto your desktop computer. Um, and so here you can see my computer. Um, in order to install the software on your computer, uh, you just open up your computer and you navigate to softwareforme.com once you navigate here to software for me uh, you go to the phone my pc page and uh, there's a, a link to set up a pc you click on download you download some software and you install it uh, once you've downloaded the software then all you need to do it's really really easy to set up you just put in a username and a password uh, and, and name the computer so like you might name this one uh, my home desktop computer or my laptop or whatever uh, and once you've done that it's it's pretty simple from there so let me kind of give you an idea uh, now we're on the phone once you download the app from the Android market uh, and you open it it will uh, you'll put in your configuration you put in your username and password and then it displays all the computers that you have uh, hooked up so I've hooked up two computers right now um, one is my Vista, my Vista desktop and one is Amy's laptop so I'm going to go ahead and just uh, click on uh, Vista Desktop, and that connects. And I have several options. I can control the mouse and keys, view a snapshot, view live, interact live, etc. Uh, so if I just like view snapshot, for example, it just goes and searches, grabs a, sp a picture of the computer uh, that I selected, and brings it back uh, to the phone uh, so I can view it. So here's a picture of my computer, and of course you can see that that's quite accurate. Uh, now, it's worth noting that I am not connected to the Wi-Fi. This is over 3G, which means I could do this from anywhere. It wouldn't matter if I was sitting on a beach in California, if I was in Europe, uh, or if I'm right here in front of my computer. Uh, this is going to work from anywhere at all. Now, I, for me, I just assume Interact Live. I always go to Interact Live because that gives me immediate access uh, to all of uh, the desktops. So now, from the Interact Live section, um, I can I can control everything. So uh, using the trackball on my G1, for example, you can see as I push it on my G1 that 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 the uh, mouse, the cursor, also moves on the screen of the computer, and I can click things. So for example, let's say I want to uh, come down and and open up something on the Start menu. Done. It opens up the Start menu both on the computer and of course I can see it right here on my phone. I have complete access to it. Let's go ahead and close the uh, Start menu. And I don't have to use the trackball. Uh, you can use your fingers just to click things. There's iTunes, for example. I can double click iTunes, and that's going to do the trick. You can see it also clicked it there, and it's just going to open right up. Um, also, I'm just going to go over the toolbar and select something I already have open. We'll go ahead and go to Firefox. Oh, so there we go. So we just opened up Firefox again. It takes a minute to load sometimes over the 3G as you can kind of see sometimes a little bit of a delay it's going to depend on your internet connection uh, obviously both at home and on your phone okay so once that's open uh, now you still have full control you can navigate you can also use the keyboard uh, so I can open up the phone and I can uh, go to the, the address bar for example and type something else in I can go to uh, uh, let's see here what if we go to uh, msn.com just go ahead and hit enter. Now I type that all on in the Android keyboard and of course it's you can see that it's already going on my phone but also we can see right behind us uh, that it's going. Now it has a little pop-up window that popped up so I'm just going to go ahead and hit continue. It's uh, got some issues with the MSN certificate, uh, security certificate or something. But there you go. It's loading right up and you can see it pushes it up in real time and uh, we're seeing exactly what's on the desktop computer. Uh, so just like that you can see it. Now this is really handy um, for several reasons. Uh, one, it means that a lot of times when you're out and about there are files um, 
that you have on the computer that you may need, like a PDF or a Word document uh, that you need to email or access. And this means that right from your phone you can do that. Um, of course, you have full control of everything. So you can come in here, um, you can open up uh, the start menu or whatever, uh, you can go directly uh, to you know my documents or into uh, my computer or whatever it is you think you may need to do. And so that's really handy. The other genius of this uh, is that uh, it's also a way to monitor things. So for example, if you have kids that are often on the computer and you're afraid of what it is they might be doing, um, at any given time, if you install this software on the computer, you can just come in here right in the program at Interact Live, or if you don't want them to know that you're, you're looking, you can just request uh, a snapshot. In fact, let me just go back to the menu here. Uh, you can say View Snapshot or View Live. So you can just go to View Live. And it's gonna, it'll load it. And so now you're just in a viewing mode. You can see everything that's going on uh, on the computer, but you're, you're not changing anything. You're not playing with the mouse or the keyboard. So whoever's actually on the computer itself, they have no idea uh, that you're there. And so that's, that's a really powerful function also. But this really comes down to uh, full functioning lifestyle. This means that you can be anywhere, anytime, and from your Android device, still get full access to a computer. A lot of people complain, oh well, um, you know, the, the Android doesn't have Flash or it doesn't have uh, full functioning Java programs or I can't do this on the Android browser or whatever it is. Well, there's no need to complain anymore because now, in my mind, you really have a full functioning uh, computer right here on your Android as long as you always leave your computer on at home. And so that gives you a quick uh, look into the Phone My PC application. I'm a real big fan. The developers are great. I think it's a bargain of a deal, and I don't know how people can live without it. Now, let me also tell you really briefly, one of the biggest advantages to this Phone My PC program uh, versus some of the, the other options out there for remote control, um, remote desktop control from an Android, in my mind, is the ease of setup. You don't need to know any host numbers or IP addresses or anything crazy like that. Um, you just come in here, username and password, set it up on the computer, set it up here, and bam, you're in. It's just that simple. And so that's just a brief uh, look at Phone My PC, uh, the Android application, currently in beta mode and available in the Android market.